No, dude, that's a dent. It's clearly a dent. And he like licks his thumb and rubs it and like, <laughs> no, that'll, like that'll buff out. <laughs> and one of our creepy friends at the movie theater was like, hey, hey she's here. <laughs> and sent him a text. <laughs> and, and so we got this information, right? You guys had a whole team on this. Yeah. Drive towards a place where there's a toilet. Even if it's just like a house, I will knock on the door and tell them urgently, the shit is either going on your doorstep or in your toilet. Please choose. <laughs> Good God. It's terrible. When we come across uh, the river being not a river at all, it's oh. gravel. <laughs> and not like a little bit of gravel, like a couple hundred feet of dry as a bone. We're not paying attention to anything that's going on around us. I think that's them. Two guys slamming a heavy wooden <laughs> gate into it and a couple hundred pound fridge into it was enough that it was like, nope, no more gas, shutting that down. They delivered a fridge so violently your house thought it was an earthquake. Yes. <laughs> Step one. Gather a posse, obviously. Oh, yeah. So oh, we, yeah. we gathered the boys. You have the music on and you turn it way down and then a person gets on and they're like, <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> God damn it. And this is where stuff really goes downhill. I'm fumbling with the key. Th this is where? It's been a great story so far. Happiness and joy. <laughs> Everything is contained up to this point. One of them we call Steven and one of them is Steve, which okay. helps differentiate, but also is sort of indicative of their personality. Mm -hmm. Steve is the gossip. Steve is the one like texting updates with Kyle. Like, did they leave early? No? Okay. Like keeping the subjects in sight, keeping our intel mm -hmm. fresh. Steven is the one staring at his watch on the minute every minute is like, oh, th uh, uh, 20, 28 minutes. 28 minutes mm -hmm. from right now, we need to be in that parking lot. That'll give us, you know, 15 minutes. We're slowly gaining weight. <laughs> That's always a good sign. It turned out somehow out of the mountain of kayaks that were sitting at the start, I picked one with like a pinhole. I'm just saving you some time. It won't fit. And he's like, nah, nah, let me measure it. <laughs> and like, fine. But also, like, fuck you. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Oh, so he comes in and he looks and he measures the little door into the kitchen. He looks at me. He's like, oh, yeah, it's definitely not going to fit through here. And I look at him and I'm like, uh-huh. Do you want to see the side yard? <laughs> she bought chocolates, flowers, and a 50-pack of condoms, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mag mm -hmm. Magnum XLs, baby. Standards, yes, absolutely standards. Extra. Extra small. <laughs> Extra small magnum. That's his fault. He was driving you up the mountain. He didn't look out the window and be like, oh, the river's kind of dry today. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should. Ah, no, he knew. He <laughs> definitely knew, but he didn't say shit. He's like, I don't know. Can you trim this? And I was like, well, I thought I had an hour and a half before you were going to be here. That was on my list. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> and we find an angle where we can park the Stevens so they can kind of see the action, you know, because they've been with us this far. <laughs> You don't you don't want to leave the Stevens parked off in the corner no, somewhere like a holes. No. It's relief until I realize that I'm standing in front of the door across the room from where the toilet is with my pants on. And and it's bad. Do you know how to do this? And I'm like, I don't know, is it my fucking job to install a refrigerator? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> get out of our car and sort of sort of skulk i guess is the word i would use to describe it <laughs> sort of pick a spot where they can't see us because it's a surprise obviously <laughs> this blind corner to a fully blocked off river everyone went in the water except for the douchebag in the front who looked so smug about the whole thing but as you recall two of us normie idiots and our lunches Packed in brown paper bags. <laughs> Let me tell you what else is not waterproof. That gas station had been robbed in the middle of the night sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. Oh. Twice in the last two weeks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so there's all these cops staking out this gas station like we're going to get, we're just, if they show up, we're going to get them this time. They can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> and at 3 a.m. right on cue, a car probably playing Metallica or blasting some music comes screaming down the road, not, you know, going way too fast, pulls in really aggressively. And then a bunch of dudes in pirate costumes pile out of the car and run into the door of the gas station. <laughs> I forgot about the pirate costumes. <laughs> Kerchink? Whoosh. And then one guy goes, oh shit. 
<laughs> and they just start rushing around to lay in wait for what was essentially, I guess, our prey. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to what they were doing when I went out there, which is apparently what they had been doing the whole 10 minutes, is one of them was standing there staring, like thinking, and the other one had the broken off <laughs> PVC pipe. It was trying to like jam it back on, like it was just gonna slip right back on. <laughs> and, and like they looked over at me. The campsite we booked is an ax murderer's fucking murder valley. <laughs> <laughs> what? Make sure they're nice and close so they can't run, you know? Make sure they they're, they're, they they get close enough. It's not turning. Both turn and look at me. What do we do? And I'm standing here like, this doesn't seem like how you would stall a fridge. I don't know. I have different expectations. Man, I hope that dude's not doing some crazy shit in our bathroom. I've been setting it up like, oh, this is a joke. We're going to kill this girl or whatever. Mm -hmm. We didn't mean to kill anyone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, sir. No, we're going to go home. Straight home, sir. And my one smart ass friend looks at him and he's like, there's a bazooka and a case of beer in the trunk. Oh, my. And the cops God. are like, all right, there's a bazooka. Get the dog. <laughs> they pull us back out of the car. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all good. He looked me right in my fucking eyes and was like, see, I told you there'd be a thing. <laughs> this fucking guy who just ruined <laughs> my entire morning, damaged my house. By the way, the Stevens must have had a hell of a show. I'm a little surprised they didn't come <laughs> running out of the car or we'll try to figure out. Hello? Hello? We're boys, We're boys. so don't kill us. Don't kill us. <laughs> It's not fun to kill teenage boys. <laughs> Fucking eat everything in the truck and get in that motherfucker and speed off. Not another word. They knew what the fuck they did. <laughs>